Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. We are in a small community just outside of Orlando. It's right by the airport between Orlando and Cocoa Beach. And wanted to show you some things that we do and things that we maintain. Take a look. This development is just w east of Orlando and it's between Cocoa Beach and Orlando, just past the airport. Beautiful, charming community. Look at these pastel colors. Really cool little place. So we maintain all of the systems here. Why? Because we installed them. When this community was built, the developer put in some drains in these courtyards and they work, but it wasn't nearly enough. So the Homeowners Association contacted us and we put in French drains and catch basins throughout the community. And what a difference. What a difference it made. You know, it rained yesterday six inches. Tornadoes flew across this community. They did not touch down, but it rained six inches. And look how dry this is. In each of these courtyards, we installed main line, which is a huge six inch line that comes down, goes out to the storm drain. We attached many laterals to these things and we used easy flow. Wow, does it work? You can see how hard it rained. You see the mulch that washed out of the beds? This all came from the downspouts of the people's houses and it just washed out everything, just washed everything down into the courtyard. And of course, those drains, they picked it up and it went straight to the catch basin, but they worked great. Remember what French drain does. It collects subsurface water. And here in Florida, we get so much water when it rains. I mean, it's just an instant flash flood. And of course, the French drain does pick that up, but the catch basins are what's needed. And you must have a catch basin on your French drain or the system is very, very slow. In addition to doing all the work for the HOA, of course, many homeowners have asked us to do things for them as well. Here's a sump basin and sump pump that we installed about three years ago. And what I'm doing is I'm just readjusting the float on this. Uh, he said it was kind of sticking a little bit, so I can readjust that, fix that, no problem. And what we do is when we come out to these communities, of course, we get a list of things that we need to check. And we're going to clean all of the drains. I'll tell you what, if you have a contractor that comes out and says, hey, I can put in this drain and you'll never have problems with it, you should ask the question, what do you do when it backs up? Are you able to come back and clean it? And if they say no, I would smile and say thank you for your time, but do not use that contractor. A good contractor can do everything, not just install the drain, but maintain the system as well, be able to troubleshoot it, be able to come back make a repair, clean the line. This is what a real contractor does, not a landscaper. You know, three years ago, we installed this system through here. And look at that. You can't even tell anybody was here. The system works. It works so good. I dare another company to even come close to what we do. Thank you so much. Back here in the back, I've told him we need to put these downspouts underground, send them back to the alley. And of course, they will do that eventually. Remember, things cost money and they have a budget, so you can only do so much at one time. Here's another courtyard. Take a look. Um, the courtyards kind of look the same, but you can see there is so much water that gets trapped inside the courtyard. So in addition to the contractor's drains that they installed, we installed French drain and picked up all of this water. We added some more catch basins out in the courtyard itself. The concrete runs that water off and just you can see where it just stands along the side. Without this system that we installed, this would still be underwater today. There are laterals going across this, pick up all that subsurface water. But the catch basins, guys, the catch basins, they are so important. They pick up immediate surface water runoff. We use 12 by 12 catch basins because there is a six inch perforated pipe surrounded by gravel off of this drain. This is the main line and we attach the easy flow to the main line and it runs all across the courtyard. But the catch basin is so important. 
When I hear these people talk about not using a catch basin, I just have to laugh because I know that they will be back there after a big rain. I know they will. And they'll install a catch basin. Of course, they won't show you that, but they'll install a catch basin. There's no doubt about it. Can you see the debris that washed across the yard? You can see it washed right over to that big 12 by 12. You see it out there in the yard? Did it stop the drain? Of course not. That water still ran right through. It's just evidence of showing you how well the drain actually works. It just pulled right up onto that catch basin because the drain below was sucking that water down. But you see all the downspouts and how they're all splashing out. And they have mulch in their beds. And it just pushed that mulch right out into the courtyard. The interesting thing is the catch basin, it sucked it up. Just like the drain in your shower. You see how it swirls and all the hair and debris gets, goes right to the drain? That tells you what? The drain is working. And it's sucking that water down. So here today, we're going to be cleaning many, many drains. And even though I know that they're wide open, we put them on a maintenance because it's very costly to many different things. If it floods and your system's not working, then, of course, you lose the landscaping. You can lose the sidewalks, all of these things. It is so important to maintain the drains. Don't let somebody tell you that you don't need to clean the drain. That's just ridiculous. This is a great example of what can be done with French drains. You can see between these houses in this courtyard, when it rained before, right after this place was built, it was totally underwater. And of course, the backfill they brought in here was probably the worst backfill you could possibly imagine. And we've corrected that problem completely. You can see more. You see the downspouts, how they're all splashing out. And it just poured that mulch over to the catch basin. But you can see the catch basin is working great, even with the mulch on the top. Because it has a grate, it keeps that debris from going down the line. What a great system. If you guys install French drains and you do it the right way, you'll never have a problem, ever. Never. These homes are so close together that when it rains and they've got their downspouts splashed out, that water just floods across. And you can see it. See how bare the area is? And of course, it just washes the mulch straight down and across the walk and into the courtyard. The catch basins still work great, but they do need maintenance. You can see it. After a big rain like that, you've got to get out there and clean that basin off. But that's just part of a French drain. All of our main lines tie into the storm drains here. This is a private community, and they actually own the storm drains. And you can see the storm drains there. Look between those houses. There's a sump pump back there. And there's a reason there's a sump pump back there is because it's lower than the street. Storm drains are very important, too. They must be maintained. If you've got a contractor telling you that he's going to install a French drain that's going to last forever, and you'll never have to maintenance or clean the line, again, I would just say thank you very much and goodbye. The developer bought all of this farmland, you know, this cattle land, and you can see there's still some sections that still have the Longhorn Steer. And the VA hospital is right back there behind us in that picture. This area, when they built this area, they brought in the worst muck clay that you could imagine and backfilled. And that's why they have the immediate problems. We were able to solve all of those. But you know what? You have to maintain the system. Catch basins, cleaning. If that contractor says, hey, you'll never have to come back and worry about this. I guess I would just smile and say thank you. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Don't forget about live help, video consultation via Skype or FaceTime. No other company even comes close to what Apple Drains can do for you. Sign up online.